Okay, this is a layered Go issue working, and I am calling on Amon, Citri, and Dantalian. Amon, I find, is really good at connecting people again, restoring the relationship. Uh, Dantalian is good for causing love and bringing couples together again. Um, and Citri is good to put the spark back if there's, you know, uh, you know, the, the, the physical side. Uh, for this client, I have already done a jar, so there's no point doing another jar. Uh, I just want to help things along for her. So, uh, in this instance, we're going to use the skull candle because we want to get into his head. Uh, this is actually a very pale pink skull candle. Uh, it looks green, <laughs> but it's not. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, so skull candles, like I said, are very, very good for... Uh, as I mentioned, bringing people together uh, by putting the thoughts into the person's mind. When the person is sleeping, that is a good time uh, to push the suggestions in because the defences are down. Uh, I've done this video a few times on the channel uh, and it is one of the best spells to do, if you, especially if you have a, a very, very stubborn target. <coughs> a target, excuse me um this is what i would uh suggest and there's a lot of work actually goes into a skull working sometimes i use the little doll heads and i put them in my jars uh or like i said skull candles uh so what you need to do is put the person's name on the candle and then baptize it uh for baptism uh for the baptism um you know do it whatever way you do it. I basically use water, uh, blessed water, and I say, you are now, let's say, for instance, John Doe. Uh, you contain the mind of John Doe, date of birth. And until I say different, you will remain the mind of John Doe. And I'll burn a notch of this down every night. And I sit with this for a few minutes each night, uh, making suggestions. And it's like I said, it's always good when the person is asleep because then, you know, you can slip into the subconscious mind. Uh, it all sounds very, very far-fetched, but believe me, um, this is very effective. Uh, if you want someone to think your way, it not not a love issue. Say, for instance, you want to put pressure on someone to you know agree to something. This again is a good way to do it. Uh, so yep, that's what I brought, and uh, I'm going to put some oils on it. And like I said, I'm calling on the three Galatia spirits because I find that they work really well together and they really do tackle, uh, you know, the issue from different angles. It's a layered working. Uh, so I'll be offering them a, a candle and probably something along the lines of uh, something, you know, um, alcohol or something like that. But... Uh, where is my petition? Uh, oh, just one second. Okay, so the petition is underneath the uh, candle. So when you're burning candles, always be so careful with regards to papers. First of all, I'm going to put some road opener to open up the roads with regards to this issue. And I always go into the eye sockets. And at the back of the head as well. So etch in the name and the date of birth. And then I always etch in the the name of the person who we want uh, the target to think about, and I, you know, I write that, uh, inscribe that on the head. You will think about uh, such and such twenty four seven, that kind of thing. Uh, and I've got some obsession powder, like an influence powder. Okay, think of her and only her. Some cinnamon mixed with ginger. Again, this is good for kickstarting things. Uh, a little bit of healing oil. I don't like using too much in the likes, uh, sorry, too much oil because sometimes the candles don't light then, so it's important not to use too much. Or honey and that sort of thing. Uh, I find sugar is fine, but honey, um, honey tends to, you know, 
The candles don't burn the way I like them to burn. Love of oil. Okay. Let me see what I have. And oh, let me see, catnip is good for attraction. A little love mix that I have. A bit of dominance in there as well. There's orse root in this. Uh, a whole range of stuff. <laughs> and some ground down rose petals and some Damiana as well. So we want to make sure it's all over the skull. Tiny, tiny bit of honey on that. I start, I put honey on that before I, I did the video, opened the video. So that's really what I've got. And I'm going to get uh, an incense stick because incense creates a smoke screen. It's a barrier uh, because we don't want to be revealed, obviously. So I'm just lighting some incense. And of course, I can offer the incense to the spirits as well to give us their assistance and I'm gonna light this candle if I can find a lighter there we go. okay and I'm turning it clockwise because we want some positive change so it has to be clockwise So I basically say stuff like, you will call her, you will connect with her, and you will not want anyone else, only her. You will have eyes only for the client and the client only. You will stop messing the client around and you will treat her the correct way. It's time to stop messing around and it's time to settle down with her. Dantalian, please sway the thoughts of this man. Amon, please bring this man together again correctly with this woman. And Citri, please restore the relationship as it should be, with a balance between both. Thank you so much. You will only think of her. When you lay your head down at night, you will see her in your dreams. She is all you want, and you are remorseful because of how you've treated her. And it's time to make up for that. You will do that now. You will do that now, right away. It's time. It is time to make it up to her. It is time to stop messing her around. You will do this. You will realize that she is the one for you. I should have put the candle on, it's my fault. You will realize that she is the one for you. And only you. Hear me. Uh, sorry, the clapping is uh, to get his attention. It's an astral thing, so uh, I do that when I'm in, calling on the in tranquil spirit as well. 
is to get their attention, if you know what I mean. So you want him to realise that he needs to do this. You will do this. I command you to do this. And you will only be happy when you are with her and her alone. You are not happy with your life in any way unless she's in it. No other woman makes you feel good, only her and her alone. Hear me. These are your thoughts. I command you to come back to her. I command you to love her. I command you to be with her. And I command you to never leave her. And you will do this. Dantalian Salos, sorry, Dantalian Citri and Amon will help this cause. I thank you so much for coming and helping with this. In your name, this will happen, and so it is done. But I will keep doing this, uh, you know, until this candle burns out. So it'll take a while, so it will. Uh, it's a variation on my Citri Amon and uh, Dantelian spell. I usually do a little jar, but because there's a jar already been done, I'm not going with that, uh, so I'm not. Uh, but yeah, that's I'm going to be doing that every night. Uh, I'm going to try and tie it in with... Uh, that's the thing with these spells. Uh, I have to really try to... My best at guessing a time for the person sleeping. Obviously, it'll, you know, it still can work without the person being asleep. But it's better if they're asleep. So it's purely guesswork. <laughs> but uh, it's still, it still can be effective. And... Uh, dress the ca the candle in whatever oils you want uh, at the end of the day you could use a red candle you know it's entirely up to you the candle is merely a focal point for me it's a prop uh, but you know the mind is the thing that you need to crack uh, before you can do anything else to be honest with you so it's always a good thing to, to really crack the mind first and uh, get into the head of the person and sway the thoughts because at the end of the day you know you could be doing a honey jar and it, you know you could be doing it for such a long time before the person comes around to you so in my opinion the skull candles uh, especially with honey jars they work really well and a lot qu a lot quicker than just a honey jar so it's a good thing to back up if you know what i mean if you back the honey jar up with the skull candle or vice versa so yes uh that's basically what i have uh, I also do heart, the little heart with this. Uh, that is also very effective uh, because the heart is the heart. Uh, I use uh, chicken hearts. Um, and the heart, you know, it's, it's purely um, heart representing his heart. So, you know, like meaning like. So that's really what it's all about. Um and I dress the little heart up with uh, oils, powders, and honey, etc., to warm the heart. But uh, the mind is the thing you really need to crack because of all the fears, uh, the issues from past relationships, and all that stuff. So I'm going to pop this to the side and I'm going to look at a couple of cards. Uh, I'm just going to draw these on video because. I never want to be accused of picking cards just to make uh, the situation sound rosy. That is not me. So I think it's best if I do a bit of shuffling on camera. So thanks to everyone that's still with me. <laughs> I know I've been a bit quiet on here. Uh, if you're waiting on videos, uh, I don't think I have that many videos at the minute. Uh, I've nearly caught up. Nearly, nearly. But if you're waiting on something, it will be coming out very soon. Uh, so it's just to let you know. And I am over at Etsy as well for for now. But we'll see.
<coughs> excuse me, <coughs> incense does that. <coughs> it really bothers my throat. Uh, anyway, so I think uh, one of these women that's in his life, uh, there's going to be something, uh, something to do with some gossip coming out. I have a feeling the last reading you had was well, not similar. Did I not pick on that up on that before that there'd be gossip coming out? regarding one of these women and I think one of these women is very very money orientated uh or is something to do with finances really orientated around that and I think there's going to be something blowing up with regards to her like a scandal kind of thing and I think there's going to be some sort of news with regards to a home or else it could be some sort of other building that's kind of official like a hospital or something like that uh, again, that sort of rings a bell to me, and I think this is stressing him out. Whatever it is, it's stressing him out. And again, I have the snake, so I'm thinking there's someone there that is really uh, not with him for the love of him, if you know what I mean. Someone that's there basically to see what they can get from him. That's what I think. Uh, you know, so let's see what else we can find out. I just want to put these in some sort of order so they make sense because they tell a little story basically. So we have a fair-haired man, so I'm not so sure if that's him or not. Uh, I don't think he's dark, that dark-haired, is he? I'm trying to visualise him in my mind. Uh, that could be someone older, uh, maybe like a father figure or something along those lines. Don't know why that's turned up. <laughs> but the next card is Truth. And I think we could be picking up on what he said in his, you know, in the last communication you had with him basically saying he, you know, he didn't want to really, you know, pursue anything. And I think when you hear stuff like that, I think it makes, it challenges you, challenge, challenges you to make things right even more. And the sexual attraction card, now, this is the problem. Uh, and uh, we've talked about this <laughs> and uh, of course I don't, I don't mean uh, any harm at all when I say this but um, because you're attracted to each other and stuff uh, 
this needs to stop for a while. Uh, like I said before, I think you need to cull this uh, because I think this is the problem. Uh, it's to do with your self-worth. Uh, as a woman, I, I think, you know, to build yourself up stronger. Uh, I know you have been doing that, uh, but I really think you need to put him on the back burner for a while. To get him back, you have to cut him off. And I know that sounds like reverse psychology, but it works. Believe me, it works. Um, I've always said psychology and magic go hand in hand. So it's really important that you listen to this message because I know I've said it and it's coming up here. So, you know, if he phones you up or whatever, uh, and, you know, he, he basically wants a casual night, you knock it on the head and say uh, that you have plans or something. Don't go ahead until you get the value from him don't worry because you know this will make him keener you know uh, I've seen this kind of thing a thousand times and basically I, I really think you need to uh, reevaluate things uh, because women use sex for love and men use love for sex is that the right way around? Yeah, I think it is. Not all, of course, not all. Everyone's different. I understand that. I'm, I'm not saying that, but it's just sometimes men and women think very differently and being intimate with someone, uh, it doesn't automatically mean love. So I think that that needs to, you need to just take a break from that. That's all I'm saying. Because if not, I think the ending, this ending, well, you know, that will get worse. So that is the warning in these cards. So also we've got jealousy and deception. So I think we've got one of these females that's dodgy. Uh, I think she may know about you. And the card of wisdom. So basically, again, is telling you to listen to what's been said. And... We have the spiritual card again, you know, that's a nod to what we're doing and it's basically telling you to take the advice um, because, you know, I'm strongly getting this uh, message to, to send to you and it's coming from them, you know, it's coming from the spirits and uh, I know you want to hold on to him and I know you want to, you know, just be with him and all the rest. But sometimes things have to change to move on to a better level. And, uh, you know, he needs to see a new a new you because it's like chasing your tail. Oops, it's like chasing your tail. Um, you know, you, you really, really need to, um, like I said, cha change. Change is good. Change is good. So if you do that... I think you're going to have um, a complete 360 on this relationship. We've got surprise and that's contact and it's favourable contact. It's stuff that you want. And then <clears throat> we've got love and this is what you want. Ultimately, ultimately what you want. And you've got new beginnings and that can only happen if you really, really, really slow down on being with him. And, you know, not just being there at his beck and call. Um, you know, I know you ha you can do it. I know. you. I know how you feel about him. And I know it's difficult. And that goes to everyone that's in the same predicament. I know how hard it is. And I empathise with everyone in this predic predicament. Because it's difficult. But it has to be done. Men will appreciate you more when you value yourself. And, you know... You know, everyone is, <clears throat> excuse me, probably sick of me saying this, but, you know, you need to love number one before you can love number two. So, you know, think of that, please. And uh, like I said, these messages are coming through for a reason. Uh, I honestly don't think these, these women he's with, I don't think they really mean much. Uh, I actually think one of them is really, really iffy. Uh, so for you... To, you know to connect with him and stuff you need to change yourself up you know magic can do so much but when you you don't break the chains uh then we have a problem do you know what i mean so 
I really don't like saying all this, but I have to because I want I want you to get your results. And in order for you to get your results, this has to change. Do you know what I mean? And he has to see you with the new eyes and then the new relationship can come to pass. And it's a better relationship. It's 50-50. Do you know what I mean? And that's what you want. You don't want something that's 75-25. You know, you, you don't want to settle for less at the end of the day. So don't stop living because of him. Go out, enjoy your youth, uh, enjoy life. He'll see that from afar and, you know, then all your spells will kick in. Uh, but this one is the one that is, you know, to get into his mind. And those three spirits, I have great faith in. And I have great faith in the Santissima Morte, as you know. Uh, but getting into the mind is the hard, it's the hard to crack. So, <coughs> I'm sorry for the coffin. It's just incense. I didn't really don't like incense. <clears throat> I should have used a cigarette <laughs> cigarette smoke on it. I don't like that either, but it's better than incense. But anyway, um, I'm going to cut this. Um, I'm going to jump off. But all that to say, you know what I'm talking about. And, you know, I think it's important. So it's it's basically just giving the spell a clear pathway so that it can reach him. Because every time, you know, you're with him, that's a wall. And it has to be... You know, you have to get to the other side of that and it's a blockage and it makes things harder and harder and harder and then it's more spells, more spells, more spells. You know what I mean? So we have to do a spell and then run with it. Do you know what I mean? And, you know, you need to set it and forget it and stay off social media. No checking up on anyone. You need to invest the time in yourself. Uh, you know, you know, spend money on yourself. Look after yourself. Uh he will see that. I keep saying, you know, and I mean that. He will see the change in you and he'll say to himself, well, I guess I'm not that important. And that is when he'll start to chase you and that's when everything will start to work because at the minute, the fact that you're connecting with each other and you're contacting and stuff, that is just building up walls. So, you know, that's my advice. And I mean it, I mean it with, a, a, you know, all my heart, you know, because I really, really want you to obtain you know your heart's desire as i do every client you know so i'll leave it with you and i'll speak to you very soon you know where to find me and um, for everyone else it's the house of magic at gmail.com uh you can find me on etsy under the name of witch cheryl i think or cheryl witch witch cheryl i think it is <laughs> it's in the community section anyway uh those spells don't have videos uh they're just photographs uh obviously the reading has a video but uh, i don't know how long i'll be spending over there uh to be honest with you but for now i'm there uh but anyway i'm going to be doing some work with the gracious spirits uh now that we're past you know christmas and stuff into the new year and i want to change this channel around so that people can do stuff at home and learn things themselves. Uh, you know, that's the kind of stuff I want to look at rather than client work. So that's what I'm going to be starting with. Uh, I'm going to be starting with probably some lesser known go goetic spirits. Uh, that's, I think, a place where I'd like to start. Uh, I also want to do some work with King Paimon. Uh, and my next video will be a Belial video. It's for a client uh, who has work issues, a very nice client who has work issues and Belial uh, is basically called for that purpose. Uh, so yeah, that's my next video and it should be up this week sometime. And uh, yeah, there's half an hour and I'm out of here. So speak to you all very soon.